This is Lesson 2, Session 2, Develop, Finding Volume Using Unit Cubes. The learning targets for this lesson are, I can measure volumes by counting unit cubes, and I can find the volume of a right rectangular prism. To start today, build a prism with a volume of 12 cubic centimeters. Record the prism's dimensions. You can use this with building blocks, or if you don't have those available to you, you can just uh, draw it on a piece of paper. So go ahead and pause so you can do that, and then press play, and I'll give you a few different combinations that you can have. So some possible solutions are length 12 centimeters, width one centimeter, and height one centimeter, length six centimeters, width two centimeters and height one centimeter, length four centimeters, width three centimeters, height one centimeter, or it could be length three centimeters, width two centimeters, and height two centimeters. Try it, make sense of the problem. This is on page 21 of your workbook. Make sure you have your math book open and in front of you while we go through this problem. Abigail uses cardboard to build a rectangular prism like the one shown below. What is the volume of the prism? Let's think what this problem is about. This problem is about Abigail building a rectangular prism. What are you trying to find out? We are trying to find what is the volume of the prism. And what information is important? And actually that information isn't in the written problem up here. It can be found down here in the diagram. So we're going to circle four centimeters, which is the length, two centimeters, which is the width, and three centimeters, which is the height. At this point, please pause the video so you can write down your own solution on page 21 in your workbook. And as soon as you have that completely done, finding the volume of this prism, then press play and we'll go through some possible solutions together. All right, you should have that finished on page 21. Let's go through some possible solutions. You can find the volume of the prism by filling it with unit cubes and counting the number of cubes. Use unit cubes that are each one cubic centimeter. So you can build this with blocks or cubes and then simply count how many cubes you use, or you can use this picture here to count the cubes. You can also find the volume by counting the number of cubes in one layer and the number of layers. So in this layer, we can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight cubes in each layer. And we can see that there's one, two, three layers. So we can multiply eight times three to get 24 cubic centimeters. What I would like you to do is pause the video so you can go through numbers one through six and write down the answers in your workbook and then press play so you can check them with me. Okay, you should have those all written down now. Number one, look at the model and picture it on the previous page. Count the number of cubes in one layer. There are eight cubes in one layer. Number two, how could you find the number of cubes in one layer without counting the cubes? You can multiply the length by the width. Four times two equals eight. Number three, once you know how many cubes are in one layer, what else do you need to know to find the volume? You also need to know how many layers there are. In other words, you need to know the height. Number four, there are eight cubes in each layer and there are three layers. What multiplication expression can you write to find the volume of the prism? We can multiply eight times Three. Number five, what is the volume of Abigail's rectangular prism? 
Abigail's rectangular prism is 24 cubic centimeters. Number six, explain how you can use multiplication to find the volume of a rectangular prism. First, you can multiply the length by the width to find how many unit cubes are in one layer. Then you can multiply by the number of layers, which is also the height to find the total volume. Reflect on what you've learned. Number seven, look back at your triad, strategies by classmates, and picture it and model it. Which models or strategies do you like best for finding the volume of a rectangular prism and explain? I can't answer this for you. This is your own personal opinion. So pause the video so you can write down your answer to number seven, which strategy did you find the best for you? And then we'll, we'll continue on to page 24. Apply it, apply your thinking to a new problem. Number eight, what is the volume of the rectangular prism at the right? Show your work. Please try this on your own and then press play to check your work. The length is three, the width is three, and the height is three. So when we multiply, three times three is nine, and nine times three is 27 cubic inches. It's important to look at the label, the measure here, we see inches. So we wanna make sure inches is in our answer. Number nine, again, you're going to do this one on your own and then press play to check your work. Mr. Wong finds the volume of the box by filling it with one foot unit cubes as shown below. What is the volume of Mr. Wong's box? Show your work. When we count the cubes that make the length, we count six. The width is two and the height is two. So six times two is 12 times two is 24 cubic feet. Number 10, Jamila wants to find the volume of the rectangular box at the right. What is the volume of the box? Press pause to solve on your own and then press play to check. When we multiply two times three times six, we get two times three is six and six times six is 36. But I see two answers that say 36. So what we really need to look at is the unit of measure. So this is centimeters and they're centimeters. So the answer is C, 36 cubic center, centimeters. Make sure you get your homework finished and I will see you right back here for session number three.